guys we are back if you didn't catch my previous video I'll put a link below in this tasting video um, I've just poured up my first uh, keg beer from the mini uh, mini keg here so if you check out the video you'll give you a very quick rundown of it and um, you'll see me pour this beer up but anyway this is the uh, tasting video of the first pour in my forgotten 43 uh, glass there it's looking pretty hazy I thought it might have cleared up but anyway it is what it is so it's a red IPL so a red uh, India pale lager it's not a style that I see much of in the shops here so I thought I'd, why not give it a whirl um, so first off very happy with the color as the name suggests red IPL should have a red color I think that's a pretty nice red color so I'll quickly go through the malts. I'll put a uh, link to the brew day as well. So brew, a link to this and a link to the brew day. Uh, so the bulk of it is Pilsner malt, uh, then some wheat, wheat malt, um, Shepherd's Delight, a little bit, about seven or eight percent, I think it was, to give it that colour. A little bit of Carahal for a tiny bit of uh, caramel sweetness. Uh, a little bit of sour grapes as well. And then, um, so it's actually called www.ripple, um, might call it .co.nz. So the www is for the three New Zealand hops in here. Actually, it'll stand over here. Uh, so there's Waiti, Wakatu, and Waimea, uh, the three hops. And then uh, the yeast I use, which was kindly given to me by Alan from Fat Beer Cater, uh, is M54 California Lager Yeast. So, yeah, she's there. Let's uh, let's not muck around. Uh, get a smell on it. First thing, probably the predominant uh, aroma is from. Uh, it's probably that a little bit of caramel sweetness, and also um, from that shepherd's delight. That sort of fruit cake quite subtle though not as prominent as uh, in my red uh, IPAs that I do with Shepherd's Delight which is good I guess you don't want the Shepherd's Delight to overpower everything else and then the hops yeah a little bit of uh, citrus and maybe some sort of hints of tropical fruit which is nice but quite subtle on the nose I did dry hop this I did use quite a lot of hops so might be because it's cold, but who knows? We'll dive in. Cheers, guys. Okay, I'm definitely getting more of the hops on the flavor. Yeah, more, quite a juicy sort of um, taste to it sort of almost a sticky, slightly resinous, um, piney quality to the hops, which I wasn't really expecting from the from these hops, to be fair. Um, yeah, a little bit of caramel. Tasting like sort of, um, I've used this expression before, I can't remember what, for what beer, but like, almost like a candied, fruit sort of uh, taste from that Shepherd's Delight and the Carahel, which is quite nice, I actually quite enjoy it. And then getting a, a little bit of lemon type citrus, there's not a lot of citrus in there, it's more of, um, more of a juicy sort of tropical fruit flavour with sort of hints of um, lemon, um, but not, there's no grapefruit or Grapefruit, that type, like a really intense citrus flavour. Oh, I'm pretty happy with that. I'm very happy actually for my, um, not only for the beer, but for my first uh, keeped pour. Uh, carbonation is pretty good. I think storing it at 12 psi um, is, a, is a good way to go. Well, for this, this little keg set up here, uh, it's got some nice lacing there as well. Um, what else can I tell you about the beer? 
Oh, it finished up at about, started at 10.58 and finished at 10.10, so I think it works out at about 6.25%. Um, drinking pretty easy for 6.25. Not picking up any, um, any uh, off aromas or anything. Sort of getting images of like, um, you know, toffee apple, the sort of the the candy sort of coating on the outside of that. I think that's just like say the hops and the malts have just combined to give it that um, that sort of uh, flavour and, and aroma actually to be fair now it's warmed up a bit. Oh yeah that's going down a treat actually. Hopefully it'll clear up a bit. Um, so half of it went into the little mini keg and half is in bottles. Uh, so it'll be interesting to see how the bottles turn out. I'm guessing they're going to be a little bit more carbonated, probably, because you know you can easily uh, monitor the uh, pressure on here. Uh, but yeah, that's me done, guys. Um, hopefully I didn't forget anything. If I did, leave a comment below. Uh, if you want any, any more info, just uh, yeah, just sing out. And uh, we will catch you next time. Thanks for watching. Over and out.